Today's first Bible news story is about one organization's project to translate the Bible in a global way. Mark Green, CEO and founder of Mardell Christian Bookstores and heir to the Hobby Lobby Arts and Crafts Empire, is currently in a leadership position helping to forge an alliance between multiple Bible translation companies. This alliance is called the Illuminations Project and has a mission to eliminate Bible poverty. Bible poverty is what they call the condition of not having scripture available in a language that a person can read and understand. Green has plans for the Illuminations Project to translate the Bible into every known language within the next 12 years. According to research conducted by the group, there are 3,800 language communities without a completed Bible in their language and 2,000 languages without a single verse of scripture translated into their language. The second Bible news story of today reports on China's new banishment of Bible study apps from the Chinese App Store. Citizens who wish to read the Bible digitally or download Bible study guides are no longer able to access such applications. The Chinese government has been prudent with its internet censorship and continues launching campaigns in an effort to clean up Christian ideology among its denizens on the World Wide Web. Online Christian communities such as Gospel League and Life Quarterly that were previously accessed on such platforms as WeChat are no longer available. The ability to purchase a Bible online from within China is being removed. The crackdown is more than likely being dispensed by the administration known as Regulations on Religious Affairs, which is responsible for monitoring and educating Chinese society on the right way of thinking and to eliminate ideas on religion in general. Atheism is a standard belief system for the country, and even school children are taught to believe that the Bible and its tenets are cultish and evil. China has a long-standing tense relationship with Christianity, which makes this campaign to eliminate access to Bibles, both physical and digital, a not-so-unexpected move. This Bible news story hails from the state of Missouri, where Senator Carla Mays is backing a bill that would allow the return of Bible reading in public schools. Mays, who attended St. Louis, Missouri, recounts positive experiences having read the Bible as part of her educational curriculum and wants other students to have access to the same experience. The proposal to return the Bible to public schools was presented to the House's Elementary and Secondary Education Committee, requesting the Bible be offered as a social studies course lecturing Hebrew scriptures, Old Testament, and New Testament in a curriculum. It's been nearly 60 years since the Bible has been officially removed from American schools, along with prayer, deeming them both unconstitutional. Infringement on personal beliefs and undermining the Constitution's outline of separation of church and state is what most critics believe Senator Mays' bill will do. Mays has written up a statement carefully outlining legal boundaries which serve to support the bill as well as to ensure that the bill, if passed, will not disrespect rights or personal beliefs of the American citizens. She's quoted as saying, A course offered under this section shall follow applicable law in all federal and state guidelines in maintaining religious neutrality and accommodating the diverse religious views, traditions, and perspectives of students in the school. A course offered under this section shall not endorse, favor, or promote, or disfavor, or show hostility toward any particular religion or non-religious faith or religious perspective. That's all for today's Bible news. To find out more about the Illuminations Project, the deletion of Bible apps in China, and Senator Mays' Bible Bill, visit our website at boulevard40.org, where you will find curated Bible news and links to each story. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay updated for future uploads on similar Bible-related content, make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on. To increase the likelihood of this video being recommended to others and to show your support for the channel, hit the like button and share this video to your favorite platform. Follow us on social media for bonus content unique to each site. We look forward to reading your comments and seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching Boulevard 40, home of the Bible Reading Party.
and home of thebibleinoneyear.com, an online resource to encourage everyone to read the Bible.